You know how much Santa paid for his sleigh? Nothing! It was on the house! <laughs> Hey, welcome to Who's Your Daddy? This is episode two of my coffee vlogmas series. So thanks for joining me. If you're not already subscribed, make sure to subscribe down below so you can take part in vlogmas. Stay tuned to the end of this video where we will have a special Christmas trivia question. And whoever gets the most trivia questions right at the end of this series gets a prize at the end from me. The type of prize is yet to be determined, but I promise it'll be really cool. So stay tuned. For this coffee vlogmas, if you're not aware, I'm going to be filming some short, a little more raw, less edited videos. I'm trying to do one every day. I can't make any promises that I'm going to do that, but I'm going to try to do one every day. And if you uh, miss a video, make sure to follow me on social media, especially Facebook. I'm going to be putting the trivia questions on Facebook if I forget to do it on a video. But I'm going to do primarily... On, uh, on the videos here, where I used to do it on my Facebook personal page, I'm gonna be doing it on YouTube now. So anyway, let's get on with it. Today, we are gonna be trying the Chestnut Praline Latte from Starbucks, another Starbucks latte. I did an eggnog latte yesterday, so make sure to check that out if, if you missed it. The Chestnut Praline Latte, what is that? According to the Starbucks website, it says it is our signature espresso steamed milk and flavors of caramelized chestnuts and spices topped with whipped cream and spiced praline crumbs. That sounds pretty good. It's another seasonal drink. It is popular at Christmas time. And honestly, I'm, I don't think I've ever had chestnuts before, so I don't know if I'll recognize that flavor, but I like pecans, so let's give this a try. Here's my little chestnut praline latte. Let's give it a smell test. Mmm. Wow. That smells the way a Starbucks smells. If you've ever walked inside a Starbucks, that's exactly what it smells like. Kind of nutty and coffee-y, coffee-ish. Let's see what it tastes like though. Cheers. definitely has a strong nutty flavor. It's similar to other lattes because a latte is steamed milk and espresso, so the milkiness kind of dilutes the flavor. I think I would prefer this with a stronger flavor. It's almost too milky. I don't know if you could order it with less milk because that's that's got a really good flavor. It's got a it's got a kind of nutty flavor. It reminds me of the candles that are that are scented, you smell a lot of times this time of year. It's like banana bread or pecan pie or fresh baked stuff. You know, they all have a similar type of smell. That's what this tastes like. That's, that's really good, I like that. So, on a scale of one to 10, I'd probably give that about an eight. That, that's really good. I don't know that I would want to drink it year round, but definitely something nice to have at Christmas time. So now, the point you've all been waiting for, the Christmas trivia game. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a new trivia question every day, so you want to make sure you're subscribed and stay tuned to all these videos if you want to win this contest. My question for today is, in relation to Christmas, these are all Christmas related, what is Franz Gruber famous for? What is he known for? Now, not to be confused with Hans Gruber, if you know what he's famous for, you can leave me a comment down below tell me that, too. That's not the question, though, because, well, Hans Gruber is kind of Christmas-related as well. But my question is, what is Franz Gruber famous for? So if you know the answer, leave a comment down below. The first one to answer correctly gets today's point. I hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for joining me. And I hope to see you tomorrow for Coffee Vlogmas Episode 3. Thanks a lot. See you later.